Oh, Baccarat Rouge and your mystery. So many people go crazy about it and then for others it just doesn't work out. I would like to know your opinion on the super hyped up fragrance because I have a feeling everyone has something to tell about this fragrance and while you're doing that I will share with you my favorite dupes on Baccarat Rouge. <music> everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video in which once again we'll talk about Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francisco de Jean. I don't know if you can tell that I've been practicing, but uh, I'm sure that didn't really help my pronunciation. Although I've already mentioned these fragrances both uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum and Baccarat Rouge 540 Extra de Parfum on my channel, like um, so many times, I will do that again just because I summed up all of perfumes that are super close to it and these fragrances inspired so many brands to create uh, similar ones to them just because uh, these are true hits and if you've never tested them but heard a lot about them and you would like to know how they smell, you can get these samples from the official website, the link to which I will put in the description box like I did. So without further ado, let me just quickly tell you my thoughts about the original perfumes before we get started with um, the dupes on them. And Baccarat Rouge 540 is a very popular but controversial perfume and that is because some people go crazy about it and for others it's just not their thing. And I used to be in the second group Mmm, but now I go like mmm and um, I stopped hating it, but I didn't start to like it yet. So it's interesting that uh, everyone smell this perfume differently and for many it's their signature scent, they can't live without it, it's sexy, it's unique, it's amazing and for others it smells odd. And so first of all let me tell you the notes of Baccarat Rouge because it's interesting that when you look at them you picture one thing and then in the end it smells completely different at least to me. So there is jasmine and as you know this is an intense heady white floral note and saffron which is spicy so you might think it's like spicy floral, right? All right let's go on. We have ambergris which is actually an animalic note with slightly um, dirty ocean-like vibe, but the original, actually not the original, the real ambergris is extremely expensive and that's for there are so many synthetic replacements for this note which can smell super sexy on people so you might think it's animalic and then there is amber note so maybe warm too and in the base there are woody notes and fur balsam so you might even think that it has a forest like vibe mm, all right now let me just share my opinion on this fragrance First time I smelled it, I was shocked. It was way too harsh, it was way too metallic. I couldn't, couldn't even like dare to smell it again. Then I created more videos about it, I got used to it. Now I don't hate it, but it still smells too harsh and medicinal to me. Some people call it like um, dentist's office and candy. So there is sweetness and odd medicinal vibe going on in there and that is original Baccarat Rouge 540. There is also Extrait de Parfum version which to me is just a bit better done because it is rounder with additional powdery touch that might come from almonds and muskiness makes it less harsh in my personal opinion although the rest is the same, pretty much. Maybe less uh, um, of that fur balsam that might create the harsh feeling, but overall I think that this one is done a bit better, it is well balanced, that powderiness makes it uh, more enjoyable for me personally, but those are my impressions of these two perfumes and now let me tell you about the dupes that I own on them, although there are so many more and if you know some else 
Besides the ones I'll mention, please let me know them in the comments because I have a feeling I enjoy tubes more than the original ones. So the first and my favorite uh, tube is by Montal and I plan to order and buy just more Montal's fragrances but then pandemic happened that um, you know, <laughs> kind of slow down things, but thanks God I have Sensual Instinct, which not only has a lot in common with um, Baccarat Rouge 540, but also with another Montal's bestseller, another because this one is a very popular perfume from them, because it is a dupe on popular perfume, but it's also very close to their Ristretto Cafe. So in here you get medicinal vibes of Baccarat Roche that probably attract people, and that signature jammy, sweet uh, rose note for Montal's fragrances, and a bit coffee in the opening. And as all Montal's perfumes, it performs amazingly, and I like that extreme sweetness with coffee, that kind of overtakes over the medicinal elements and it wears really nicely being super bold fragrance and in my opinion it's close to Baccarat Rouge although it has its own character and that's for it is one of my absolute favorites and if you love Baccarat Rouge and Ristretto Coffee and you want both in one flacon that is Essential Instinct. So the sister company of Montal, Mancera, has also a dupe on Baccarat Rouge in the face of instant crush. And to be honest with you, this is not my crush because it has too much in common with not only Baccarat Rouge but another fragrance that I personally absolutely can't stand and unfortunately for me it is also very popular. And of course I'm talking about Let's guess, guys. Those of you who have been with me for a long time know that that is One Million by Paco Rabanne. And the similarity between Instant Crush and uh, One Million is that overwhelming, heady, annoying, <laughs> sweet spiciness that is so strong in both perfumes. And by the way, in here we have saffron and jasmine, which can be found in Baccarat Rouge, but then some other notes too. And it is just too warm and way too bold for me personally. And uh, I find it's also on the masculine side. And since it is so warm and it tends to grow on your skin, just like one million does, it is most suitable for warmer weather, in my personal opinion, and when you open it, the smell of it, it's just one million in a bottle. So, if you love Baccarat Roche and you love one million and you don't want to layer them, you just want the essence of both in one fragrance, that's it. But keep in mind that if you hate those perfumes, don't smell that fragrance. Otherwise, you might get headache in the best case. Next, I have dupe on Baccarat Rouge and Baccarat Rouge Extra in one fragrance, which is Stramonio from the Quinto Canto range, which is inspired by deadly poisonous Stramonio. And we have Ambergris and Saffron and Jasmine in here, which create the core of Baccarat Rouge, but then additional notes like vanilla and moss and musk and orchid. So it is powderier, it is rounder, it is powerful, just as Baccarat Rouge. But to me, it's way more sexy and it smells like aphrodisiac. So if you are looking for a sexier version of a crutch rouge, the accent in which would be on the ambergris element, I recommend you Stramonio, which smells very grown up, very expensive, and that is what I love about it because it doesn't uh, make me sick as I wear it, and that sometimes happens with Baccarat Roche. Next, I have probably my favorite tube on Baccarat Roche, that is Barbary Her Intense. And I really like that Barbary hired Mason Francisco de Jong, who came up with the original idea for these perfumes to create this entire range. And although Barbary Her Eau de Parfum is pretty much a spot on on his Baccarat Roche 540, I prefer the intense format that smells like Baccarat Rouge, but thousand times better with additional fruitiness. The only similar note to Baccarat Rouge is Jasmine, which once again is not floral, 
like it's not in Baccarat Rouge or any other fragrance and that surprises me because I'm very much familiar with synthetic and natural jasmine materials and I can't really detect them in there maybe because they are used in small amounts I don't know but I can tell you that this smells slightly like bubble gum with fruity elements it is very wearable it stays on it makes me happy so it's probably my favorite dupe on Baccarat Rouge that is created by the same perfumer so he knew what he did and I have to be honest with you this is like everyday perfect Baccarat Rouge like but then slightly different fragrance for me and it's um, my number one among all of these but next one is also very good it is called Monash Rouge by El Haramein and uh, the focus in here is on this sweetness of Baccarat Rouge so if you would like more of the candy floss and less of uh, medicinal bandages uh, of Baccarat Rouge I recommend you this fragrance that is very strong and wears really nicely is whoa sweeter um, than some other Baccarat Rouge dupes but there is also some kind of freshness in there so saffron and jasmine are still in here some moss so it makes it just a bit dirty and caramel and candy floss create that um, not bakery but very very sweet vibe like if you've been to the dentist and then you treat yourself with a bunch of caramels for the last one, I saved the clone on Baccarat Rouge X3, which is created by Alexandria Fragrances and is called Interplay X3. And it is super similar, if not exactly the same as Baccarat Rouge X3 de Parfum, but way less expensive. That's why I like to throw on a little bit when I go out, because I know that people are super attracted to Baccarat Rouge. And if you want to create a wow effect somewhere, particularly if those people are not very advanced with perfumes and maybe I'm not familiar with niche fragrances, I recommend you to give Baccarat Rouge 540, whether it's Eau de Parfum or X3 de Parfum, a try or you can check out some of these dupes if you know that Baccarat Rouge doesn't really do it for you personal but you still want that wow effect from people because this is a mysterious fragrance that smells slightly different uh, to everybody and that's probably its secret that it can evoke different feelings feelings, emotions and associations and um, I don't really know what's its mystery, probably the materials and the way they are blended together, that's the art of perfumery and if you can articulate the mystery or you can just um, assume what, what makes people go crazy like in positive and uh, negative way, let us know your opinion in the comments, I would love to hear from you guys and on that note thank you so much for being here in another Baccarat Rouge video I hope that one day I will enjoy the original perfumes but so far these dupes work out for me nicely and if you can share some others I'd be grateful for that and on that note have an amazing day make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new here and stay tuned for the future ones because this week is gonna be a lot of fun so we'll see each other in my next one bye guys